as well as being able to self-observe, as we talked about it before, of being aware of your thoughts, being not get involved with your thinking pattern, not fall asleep into that, simply being aware that you're not the stream of your thoughts. The thoughts that are passing through your mind, the story that you're carrying, whatever is your story, poor me, I'm this, I'm that, this happened to me, that happened to me, the story, the poor me story. That majority of people on this planet are addicted to this story. There's a deep addiction to the story of poor me. Can you consciously become aware of it and avoid it? Simply not identify with the story. Be aware of it, but not being identified with it. Yes, something happened to you in the past. You got abused. You got raped. You got touched inappropriately. You, you, you were wrong. Okay, I get it. But can you now let the story go and not keep carrying it into the present moment not keep bringing it here can you do that not carrying the story like this garbage bag you have in your back and you're carrying the garbage bag with you can you just drop it and come here in this moment with me and just be storyless because this moment has no stories. It's storyless. Then you raise your consciousness to a higher level. Can you simply be aware of your emotions passing through you and be aware of them? Anxiety or anger comes be angry, feel anxiety, but stay in this place that you're not your anxiety, you're not your anger. You're simply observing it. You're simply experiencing a movement right now, but that doesn't define who you are. And then it goes away. That's how you raise your consciousness to a higher level by self observation. But it starts with yourself. And the people and the situations surrounding you keep reflecting back to you where you're at. If you're a kind of person who gets cheated all the time, you're in this situation that things happen to you and you encounter situations that you get cheated, then you need to look at yourself. You need to examine within yourself, what is it inside me that is not trustworthy? What is it inside me that cheats? Because existence is a reflection of who you are. Your reality of life is a reflection of where your consciousness is. If you don't like your life, it's not that the life outside, something's wrong with it. There is something's wrong in you. That you're not looking at it. 
because if you examine it and look at it and rise above that shortcoming inside yourself, surely the other world, the life outside of you is going to change. It must change. It has no choice because the life outside of you, the other life is always a reflection of where you're at. It always gives you what you need. It always confronts you with whatever teachings you need to learn, whatever that is. You may be riding a motorcycle and get in a car accident and break your leg and be forced to stay in bed for six months with your leg up, you know, and screws in your leg. Then you need to learn something from that existence. There's no mistakes or accidents in life. Everything is perfectly designed for your growth, your spirituality. So you have an accident, something happened, something unpleasant has happened in your life. There is teachings in it for you. There is something you need to learn from it. Patience or forgiveness, something. Always can learn something from a situation. Or you can go in a victim place and perceive yourself as a victim and life is doing you wrong. And you've done that for thousands of years and that doesn't get you anywhere. You're back at the same place and then you're going to have to reincarnate and come back one more time till you rise above it. You've been around the loop. But if you want out of the loop, then you really need to look at yourself more than anything else. It starts with you and it ends with you. And one of the best ways to do that is always to learn to quiet your mind. Be quiet. Silence. We've talked this many, many, many times. Practice being quiet. Practice being still. And the more you're still and the more you're quiet, the more the life around you comes into harmony with where you're at, harmonizes with you. The other world, the world in the outside, will come in harmony with your internal process. That doesn't mean you're going to have $10 million in your bank account tomorrow. And that doesn't mean you can manipulate people to do what you want them to do. That doesn't mean that means you come to harmony with what, it, what life offers, whatever there is, whether it goes your way or it doesn't go your way, you become harmonious with it. That's how you raise your vibrations. That's how you raise your consciousness. 